video is for anybody thinking about buying the Hubba NX, the MSR Hubba NX tent. Don't do it. Do not do it. If you are at all think you're going to be in any kind of rain, do not buy this tent. So I had the original Hubba One, um, which was fine, and the seam tape on the fly started to deteriorate. Uh, I found this out right before I left for an Appalachian trail trip. So I contacted MSR, they warrantied the fly, sent me a new one, however it didn't come in time. So I figured I would go ahead and get the newer version of that tent, which is the Hubba NX. So this is the second time in uh, eight days that I've been rained on in this tent. And both times I've had the same exact problem. I spent the last 20 minutes now bailing out water from my tent. My sleeping pad is soaked, my tent floor is soaked, my sleeping bag is soaked, and it's supposed to be 30 degrees tomorrow. So now everything is wet and I gotta deal with 30 degree weather tomorrow. I don't know I don't know who thought of this or who thought it was a good idea to send this fucking thing into production saying yeah that's fine. But here is the issue. So, the bathtub floor is fine. All this red material is fine. And then they cut it really low along the floor. All this white nylon on both sides, this side and the side of the door, is not waterproof. It is not waterproof. Water comes through it like a colander. It, it's, it's ridiculous. So, on the NX, the on the non-door side, the rainfly doesn't stake out very far, maybe 12 to 14 inches at most, and I believe it sits a lot higher off the ground. So every time the rain drops, hit the ground, and splatter, it splatter onto this white nylon, and it soaks right through and starts to pool in the bottom of the tent. Your sleeping bag's touching this, it's getting all over the sleeping bag. Okay, the same exact issue on the door side, but obviously with the door side, the vestibule is staked out a little farther, so it's not as bad, but it act does actually sit higher. So, like I said, I just spent the last 20 minutes bailing water out of my tent, had to go outside in this storm and use a log and rocks to build up a wall at the base of the, uh, base of the vestibule, the small vestibule on the non-door side to keep the splash up. This is ridiculous. 